Hi, my name is Giuseppe Marinacci and I'm a dentist with a holistic approach. Have you ever heard about habitations? No? Don't worry, most patients and dentists are not aware of habitations. A cavitation is an infection in the jawbone, usually in an area where a tooth had been previously extracted and the bone had not filled in properly. The most common site is the wisdom tooth area, usually called ischemic osteonecrosis, osteomyelitis or jaw osteitis. These lesions usually are not painful, tender or inflamed, so often they are silent and this is the reason why they go undetected. Cavitations become filled with toxins and if the toxins go out into your system, um, they can cause a lot of symptoms. As the waste product of bacteria harboring cavitation is a neurotoxin, cavitation sometimes can uh, cause uh, facial neuralgia, that means face pain, and in this case they are called neuralgia inducing cavitational osteonecrosis. Even though most dental organizations refuse to acknowledge the existence of cavitations, many studies have shown their existence and their relationship with some medical problems. What's the cause of cavitations? So cavitations take place when during the tooth extraction the dentist does not remove the periodontal membrane which has surrounded the tooth or because of nutrient deficiency or for both reasons. After the tooth extraction the body eventually fills in the space in the bone where the tooth was once located, but if the periodontal membrane is left behind or in case of nutrient deficiency, an incomplete healing may take place, leaving a hole or a spongy infected tissue inside the bone. Cavitations act as a breeding ground for bacteria and for their toxins. Research has shown uh, these bacterial um, waste products to be extremely potent. Cavitations can also create blocks on the body's energy meridians and can have a negative effect on the overall system. How do you know if you have a cavitation? X-rays are needed to identify a cavitation. Sometimes cavitations show up only a very uh, subtle differentiation in the texture pattern of the bone. So if your dentist is not specifically looking for cavitations, then your x-ray will be read as looking just fine. So if you don't know about something, probably you don't look for it. Usually cavitations are surgically treated, exposing them and cleaning out the dead bone. Moreover, the injection of ozone gas into the cavitation area can be done for a better decontamination of the bone and to help with the healing process.